that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So Christ did not come to send peace. The relationship that you thought that you have with your mother, Christ did not come for that. Especially right. if they're going against God's laws, Christ did not come for that. Your mother, he doesn't want your husband, your father to rule over, over her. Why? Because she's rebellious. No, boo boo, her father's dead. Thank you. Sin. And the reason why I don't, my, my husband don't sin. tell me what to do. My, I preach, but I am come to set a man at variance against his father uh -huh. and the daughter against her mother. Wait, wait, read that slow. Read that slow. Read that again. And the daughter against her mother. So says it's going to be division between you and your family. Right. It has to happen because it's written in the Bible. Yes. Sheila, I'm ready to go home. I don't need one shot. My bike no by here. Yeah. Here you go. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. So, sis, the next time that we see you, what are we going to see on you? Not a superior. Very good. Conversation between black people. I know, but I watch out every day. That's good that you're watching us, but are you keeping or are you learning to do what we're teaching? This is my mother right here, my yes. Okay, yes. so what Christmas what? over, okay. Thanksgiving over, okay. Fourth of July over, Mother's Day over, okay. Uh, birthdays over. Good. I've lost a lot of family. I have. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna say this. I'm like this. I'm moving towards the most high and I'm really not worried about what my family is really doing. I am because I'm worried about their salvation, am I? And now I'm out here like this. You know you know why you are ashamed? Because you know about this law. Give me Durham chapter 22 verse 5. You said that you have been watching us. But the reason why you are standing here, you feel ashamed, is because of this. You are trying to keep some of the laws. As you said, you don't do birthdays, mothers, this, and all of that. But I bet you you know this law and you're not doing That's why you are ashamed seeing us. Dress modestly. Ah, read that. Read that for the sister right here. <laughs> this read is that. the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. you see, see, the, stop. You're reciting the Bible right now. I can't read it from your lips that you're reading the, the, the scriptures. A woman should not wear what pertains to a man. So what does he mean? I mean, it means that a woman should be in modest appearance. She should be in a long dress or something covered up. And a woman should wear a dress, a man, a man should wear pants. Okay, so why why God is saying that uh, the woman should not wear pants? Why? Because he wants us to look modest and we're not men. We're not the man. Yeah, because your body belongs to who? Well, I, your husband. Right. Yo, your right. so I don't have to see the shape of your body. Right. Everything is spiritual. For example, if a man put on pants, right? When she sit down, how does she sit down? Does she sit down with that? You see, she sit down with her legs open. But who sits down with the, with his legs open? A man. A man. So you putting on pants shows that you are a man, and that's a spiritual thing. Right. That's why God is saying that the woman should not wear pants. For example, if right now I have. And dress on. How would I behave? How? Like a woman. Like a woman. So that, yeah, that shows that clothing also have a spiritual aspect to it. That's why God is saying that the woman should not wear pants. Oh, I, mean, no. I, I never wore dress. Teach. I, I was raised in a nation of Islam. We, I, I That's wearing, another thing. Me I started wearing that with pants that. Uh -huh. when I was like I'm 19 about and cry. 20. So I, I, I know that a woman shouldn't wear pants. Okay, so I never wore my mother didn't buy pants. We wore dresses. So we kept our hair covered up and everything. Yeah, that that is good. But all those are religions that we are into. But we have to come back to God's laws. We have to follow what God is telling us to do. For example, right. the nation of Islam, did they tell you who you are according to the Bible? They don't. Do they use the Bible? Do they teach you that according to the Quran, is there a prophecy in the Quran? That tells you where we come from, how we get to this land. It's not in there. So all these religions were given to who? Our oppressors. Give me the chapter 28, verse 64. This is what the Bible says. Even though it, in the nation of Islam, um, they show uh, some sort of discipline, but however, 
their ways are not coming from the Bible. Right. Their ways are coming from what? The so-called white men and the so-called Arabs. Hey. These are the nations that oppress us. So how can we learn religion from them? How can we learn religion from them? That's, that's, it, it doesn't add up. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. When we scattered as a nation, yes, we, we, we were. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. It says that we're going to serve other gods. We are scattered here in America. We are scattered in uh, Arab nations. We are scattered in Europe. We are scattered all over the planet. And we said that, and it says that we're going to serve other gods. So that let us understand that the God that we're going to worship is not from this Bible. Read. Really? Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. When we were in Israel, we did not know any, anything about Islam. We did not know anything about Muhammad. What up. we know about the God that we serve was, was the true God, the dark in man. That's the God that we serve when we're in the land of Israel. Read. Even wood and stone. Stone is the nation of Islam, right? When they go to Mecca, bring me that sign. When they go to Mecca, what is this? It's, it, they call it jihad or ihad or something like that. What they call that? Ahaj, ahaj. What's the reason of them going to Mecca for? What's the reason? What's the reason? To go, to go and bow down to this Kaaba stone. Right. That's the stone that the God is talking about in Deuteronomy 20 verse 64, that we're going to serve these gods. When he talk about wood, many of our brothers and sisters are in Christianity. These are the religions that we are into. That's why we feel like we are doing our own thing or we are serving the true God. But you bound yourself down to a stone and kissing it, you are not serving the true God. Right. That's why God is saying that we have to come back to who we are. Because who, if we know who we are, we will know who our God is. For example, the nation of the religion of the religion of Islam. Who gave that religion to our forefathers? The Arabs. Look at this. The Arab slave trade. Very good. Bring me the substance uh, slave trade. Give, uh, give me the slave trade. So imagine the Arabs conquered many of our brothers and sisters and took them into slavery. Guess what they taught them? They taught them the, um, Islam. That's what they taught our brothers and sisters. Abraham, what in by Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. So the, the, the promise was not given to Ishmael. Right. The promise was given to who? Isaac. That's right. The promise was never given to Ishmael. It was given to who? Isaac. Read. Read Genesis chapter 17 for me. Right, so the promise was never given to who? Ishmael. Even though, yes, Ishmael came from Abraham, but he was not the chosen. He was not the chosen. You got it? Yes, sir. Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 17 and verse 19. And uh -huh. God said unto Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him. With for him, with Isaac. Uh huh. With him. And for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. Who are um, Isaac's seed? We are Isaac's seed. That's right. right. The Ishmaelite are the so-called um, Arabs today. That they're descended from who? Um, Ishmael. Right? But the covenant that God made, he made it with who? Isaac. We are the seed of Isaac. That's why God is saying that we will serve other gods. Wood and stone. Christianity was given to us by who? The white man. Right. When they enslaved us, they taught us Christianity. If your slave master is Methodist, what would you be as a slave? If your slave master is Pentecostal, what would you be as a slave? That's how many of us call themselves Methodist, Pentecostal, Baptist, uh, Seventh-day Adventist, and all this garbage religion we are in. Right. So if your slave master is an Arab, who would you be? Who, which religion would you fall into? Islam. Well, that's my religion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Yeah, but we should come out of I, that. I, I understand you trying to change my mind, but you can't. Yeah, that's... that's you, you got my daughter, so you be I'm happy with that. All right, so let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Come, what's your I name, know. by the way? It's Rashida. Rashida, come close to me. Come close to me. You, you have, um, I'm honored to be in front of you. All praise the most high. All praise right the most high. Yeah. But this is what the Bible says. Once we know the truth, this is what the Bible says. Give me Isaiah 44, verse 5. This is where I got everything. So, Why you like this? All praise the most high. So now that you are watching us, number two, I know.
know if you're learning some of the laws. I'm trying to fly here. Very good. Very good. Yeah, but the next thing is what? Just modest. You know what I'm saying? Are you married? Your body is supposed to be for the man that you want to marry. Well, I've been telling her that under the nation of Islam, and she have not been listening. I hope she listen to you. I, yeah, she's going to, you know why? You know why? No, no, no. I've been telling her that at, under the nation of Islam. But you know why she's going to listen? No. Because she knows who her God is. No, I don't listen because my mother repents. Yeah, yeah, I do repent. But when, when she, when she, not that she, she is repenting and she keep God's law, she's not going back. Why? Because she will know who her God is. That's Read that for me. Read that. 44, yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, and verse 5. So now that you know who you are, this is what the Bible says you have to do. Because right now you have a um, Muslim name, right? Read. What shall say, I am the Lord. the Muslim's name. That's where she got her name from. To call himself by the name of Jacob. Uh huh. Read. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. So yes, now yes. that you are learning to keep God's laws, guess what you have to change? Your name. Yes, your name, name is a, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, a slave name. That ain't gonna happen. It's, why is it not gonna happen? Because sis? I'm her mother and she's no, not gonna change. You don't have control over her. Yes, I do. You don't. You can that man has I'll, control over her. You don't. You so, what? Your, where's your husband? Home. Your husband's supposed to have control over you, so why your no, husband? No, my husband ain't got I, I, because he don't got control of me. I control. Why? I that, control that, me. That's a rebellious spirit. I right control there. me, boo boo. Yeah, that's a rebellious spirit. Look, that's what religion do to our sisters. They didn't have control over the man. Yeah, but this is what the Bible says. Bye. Listen, I'm gonna say something. Listen, I'm gonna say something. Like today, I'm gonna say something. Today's the Sabbath. Today's the Sabbath. And this is why I'm crying because I'm tired of my family pulling me. So I don't want to do this anymore. Sis, I don't want to buy and sell on the Sabbath. I don't want it. Sis, I don't want it. Now you know who you are. Your family, they have to work your own soul salvation. But this is what the Bible says. Read, give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 33. I don't know what this means. Me Sis, seeing you, listen. but I've been begging for you to come here. All praise the most high. All praise the most high. All praise you. Literally. This L the listen to this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 33. Uh-huh. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? So God is say, asking you, why are you trimming your ways to seek love? Why are you breaking the Sabbath day so that your parents will love you? Right. Why? Tee. God is asking you that question. Why, says? Why? Read. Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy way. Now you have taught the wicked ones once that um, your ways, your evil ways. Your mother, you have taught her that you have taught her that it's okay to break the Sabbath day. Why? Because you're trimming your ways to seek love. You should not do that. You have to stay. You have to stand strong in what you believe in. Right. All right. You have to stand strong. Matthew, Matthew 19, 29. Listen to this. Rashid, right? Rashid, you have to change that name. I want to hear like Esther, but Israel. Oh, Judith by Israel. I want to hear that name, not Rashid. I, li I like Judea. <laughs> Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 29. Uh huh. And everyone that hath forsaken houses and brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mothers, or wives, or children, or land, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Isn't that beautiful, sis? Isn't that beautiful? Look, everybody here, read it again. Read it again. And read every, it again. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mothers, or wives, or children, or land, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundred folds. You're going to receive a hundred folds, sis. Yes, Guess what? Look, look, look how many brothers I have here right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are my brothers. I lost two brothers and I gained nine. That's the right. Bible said they're That's going to receive right. a hundred folds. Don't worry about your family members. Let them do what they want to do. God is choosing you. That's right. God is calling you, yeah. not them. God is calling you, says. All right, so you have to stay strong. Stand strong and keep God's law. Don't let them move you. Because guess what? Your mother, he doesn't want your, her, your father to rule over, over her. Why? Because she's rebellious. Give me that first question. No, nah, boo-boo, her father's dead. 
thank you. Sis, and the reason why, I don't, my, my husband don't tell me what to do. My, I understand angry. what you're saying you're in angry. your Bible and stuff, you but don't tell my thing. daughter to go against her family, because that's wrong. No, Sis, I, will, I don't care how you do it. Don't tell me to change my daughter's name. Change your name. You are going against all of us. Sheena, I'm ready to go home. I don't need one shot. Bye, bye, bye here. Here you go. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. I am all. It, it's over. My family can go. All praise is. I don't listen. I don't let. You know what? Give me three minutes. It's over. It's a wrap. I can't do this right here anymore. Now you see this, right? This is what we do home. We go at it like this. When you, when you done, give me Matthew 10. It's not, it's it's not the book, my It's the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. That's right. You're going to receive a hundredfold, and you're going to get eternal life. This, is, this, is, this sounds so good in my ear, it says, your family member, is not, God is not going to save all of them. God is calling you, so you have to fix yourself and keep God's laws. I don't want to be one of the 144,000. <laughs> the 144,000 is the man. That would be the govern, okay. the government, right? That would be the government. But you have to be pray that laws for you. You keep God's laws and you be part of the the remnants, right? All right. So you have to keep God's laws. So don't let your family members move you. All right. You go at it. They don't. They can't. They can't stop this. Yeah. They don't can't. let them stop you. Sis. I'm, I'm on my way. On my way. Don't let them stop you. I'm so honored right now. So, sis, the next time that we see you, what are we going to see on you? Not a superior. Very good. That's what we want to see on you, right, sis? Because lost, well, guess what? We have brothers and brothers that are repenting, that look looking for a sister that's also repenting. You have to repent, get your mind right, and most times for you get a husband. Where are these men at? Give me James. I, mean, I don't James see you. Say again, Cap. Matthew 10, give me Matthew 10. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 34. Uh -huh. Not that I come to send peace on earth, I came not to send peace, but a sword. So Christ did not come to send peace. The relationship that you thought that you have with your mother, Christ did not come for that. Especially right. if they're going against God's laws, Christ did not come for that. Preach! For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, uh -huh. and the daughter against her mother. Wait, wait, read that slow. Read that slow. Read that again. And the daughter against her mother. Uh huh. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So say it, it's going to be division between you and your family. Right. It has to happen because it's written in the Bible. That's right. Many of us here, when we came, guess what? Our family members did not believe. We gave them time to repent. They did not repent. And guess what? We have to go our, our own ways. And right. we have gained a whole lot. Person live in my house. Say that again. My mom lives in my house. Your mom lives in your and house. I had to stop the whole Christmas tree and stuff, and, and everybody's angry. And I'm just tired. That has a Christmas tree. That don't make no sense. Listen, why you think I don't listen to nothing she's talking about? I'm not listening to that. Because if, if that's the case, this is how I see it. My mom, they were brought up Muslim, but that wasn't instilled in me. And I'm happy. I'm happy. Not Christianity nor Islam, and I'm happy because that gave me a choice. They gave me a, 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 a like a way where I can look and see, and I found you. But before before I found you, I was atheist because I just didn't believe that we could be hurt like this and he'd be real. And that's what brought me to you, Darwin and all of that stuff that I researched and looked up. And it brought me to evolution and all of that, and it brought me straight to you. Actually, it brought me to HOI, then to you. So everything that we do or everything that happens to us is according to God's plan. Because all of us here standing here, before we came to this shoot, we were seeking the truth, right? And God brought us here. So that's what you were doing. You were seeking the truth, and now you know the truth. John chapter 8, verse 32. So now that you know the truth, the truth is going to set you free. Set you free from what? From what? The pain that you think you go through if you separate from your family. Not to say you free, because God has called us unto what? Peace. To have peace. Right? right now you don't have peace. How are you keeping God's laws? Or are you learning to keep God's laws? But in your household, it's co confusion going on. They don't want to apply God's laws. You are not at peace right now. Right? But God has called us to what? To have peace. When it comes to follow, keep his laws and commandments.
Read that. This is the book of John chapter 8 and verse 32. Bring it uh -huh. up. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth has to set us free, it says. Right now you are not free, right? For you to be free, you have to make sure that you are applying all the laws. Right. You have to apply all the laws. Then your mind will be strong in keeping God's law so that nobody can move you. That's right. right? Because right now you can be moved. Your family members can move you up, um, back and forth. And you should not be like that. Right? Your mind has to be what? On God's laws. Right. That's what your mind is supposed to be. So right now, as I said, you have to what? Start wearing dresses. Because none of us are supposed to see your body. None of us. You know what I'm saying? Your body, your body belongs to who? Your future husband. All right? Yeah, so we want to see that. We want to see you come, keep God's laws. We have sisters that also have repented. That when you lost, when you come, they can also guide you, support you through the emotion that you go through with your family. Nobody's around me knows what this. But you have to congregate. And I don't know anybody here, so it's like... So now, now that you have the flyer, um, give us a call, right? Give us a call because there's a lot of sisters that can help you, support you through the emotion, um, emotion um, trials that you go through so that they can lift you up because they went through the same thing. All right, so they will be able to um, give you advice and support you so that you can overcome it, all right? We want to see our sisters married to a godly man. You don't want to be married to a godly man? Yes, I do. Yeah, you, give me Surah 26 verse 26. Yeah, we, because we want to see that. We want to end um, single parent household. We want to end that. Right. married for 17 years. Oh, you, you were married for 17 years? So what happened? I'm gonna put it short. I felt like he, all right, the communication between me and him wasn't good. I felt like he could have loved me better than what he was. It just wasn't, we didn't have a connect. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say we were unequally yoked. I'm gonna say that. So, how, how, okay, you were not keeping God's laws. How can you say that you were in, in, uh, unequally yoked with your husband? Because I was, I was at the time listening and trying to do those things and he was saying, don't do it. He were he was like me basically coaching me into not listening. Guess what? If you have lost him, you're going to get a godly man, right? A godly man will what? Take care of you. A godly man will what? Deal with you according to God's law, right? That's what you need, he says. That's what you need. Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus. 26 and 26. Uh huh. A woman that honored her husband. I think it's 25. Yeah, 20, 23. Read 23. Verse 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. Uh huh. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. So you can only get a godly man if you yourself are godly. Right. And how can you be godly, sis? I guess by dressing better. <laughs> yeah, sis. That's the only way you can get a godly man, by you keeping God's law. That's right. Other than that, you're going to get right. these, uh, our brothers and sisters here that will sleep with you. I don't want to. Put a baby on you and leave you. Right. You deserve a godly man. Our sisters deserve a godly man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth